Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 24 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install Databricks CLI and how to configure it with your workspace. In our previous video, we have discussed about secret scopes overview theoretically, right? So the next video, it should be like how to creating that secret scope within the Databricks actually. But why I am doing this video in middle is in the process of creating the secret scope, we have to use this Azure, uh, sorry, Databricks CLI to interact with Databricks workspace actually. So it is very important to know what is this Databricks CLI and how to install and configure this. Then only you will understand how exactly to create a secret scope and how to work with them. So this video is limited to uh, a high level overview about what is Databricks CLI and how to install it and configure it in your system. So Databricks CLI. So firstly, CLI is nothing but like command line interface. Usually in your system, you will be seeing command prompt, right? When you type CMD in the run command, you will see a command prompt will be opened. Using this command prompt, actually you can use some commands to interact with the Windows OS, right? So CLI is nothing but like a command line. That means using some commands inside this command tool, interact with something. So in case of Databricks, for example, using these commands, whatever you type inside this command line, if you want to interact with the Databricks workspace using these commands, then you have to install the Databricks CLI because Databricks CLI has all the commands which actually in turn interact with or communicate with the Databricks workspace. So in your system, you need to install the Databricks CLI first. So which is nothing but like it's a, it's a Python package actually. So we, once you install it, then you can use that uh, commands inside the Databricks CLI, which will actually help you to interact with the Databricks workspace. Okay. So now how to install this? Uh, and firstly, as I said, this Databricks CLI is it's a it's a Python package, right? So you, in the Python, if you want to install any package, you need to use this pip, right? Pip is a uh, package uh, Python uh, package manager tool. Using that, you can install any package. So Databricks CLI is one package which you need to install using this pip. So firstly, you need to have this pip installed in your system. So usually. When you install Python in your system, the pip will automatically come. If you, in if you install Python 3 and 3.6 or above, you will automatically get the pip installed in your system. Let me practically show you that. So let me go to command prompt here. So here, for example, if I type py hyphen hyphen, then version. So this should actually give the version of the Python installed in my system. But this command is not working. And also if I use a command called pip, then space hyphen hyphen version, this should give me pip version. But it says pip is not recognized. That means in my system currently Python and pip anything, nothing is installed. So what you need to do if you want to install Python, what you can do, let me go to browser here. Simply search like install Python in the Google browser. So it will give you that uh, first link where you can install the Python. So go to that and from here install or download and install the Python actually. So if you have seen my Python playlist, there also I have explained how to install the Python in your system. So I have already downloaded this Python in my system. So if I go to uh, file explorer and if I go to downloads, I have already downloaded this Python. So let me double click this Python version 3.10.5 and install it. So let me hit this install now button to install this Python in my system. Great, Python installation is completed successfully. Let me close this. Now if I go to command prompt and here, this time if I try that command py space version version uh, hyphen hyphen version, then see it is giving me in my system I have a python and this is the version. And also since this python version is 3 and above, it, it might have already installed pip also. So let me try this command pip space then hyphen hyphen version command and see, so okay. Okay, it says pip is not installed yet. So let me close this command prompt and let me open once again. It should have installed automatically. So let me rerun this command prompt and then let me try pip version command here. Still, it says uh, it is not recognized the command. So in that case, what you can do if you face the same error, try to open your Python installation once again by double clicking it and then try to modify this. And here you need to make sure this pip installation is selected here. Then click next. And then also try to uh, select this add python to the environment variables option and then hit this install button to, re to reinstall the python actually. Python installed successfully. Now if I go to command prompt and here let me try this pip hyphen hyphen version command. And now if you see it is giving me the pip version number that means pip also installed successfully. So since we have pip installed successfully now using this python package manager I can install any python package easily. And as I said. This Databricks CLI package is a Python package. So we need to use this pip install command to install this Databricks CLI package. So let me run that command here. So simply type pip, then install, then your package name. So my package name is Databricks-CLI. So that is this is the package 
that will help you to interact with the databricks workspace so let me hit enter button here this will execute the package and try to install that databricks cli in my system so let's wait for see here it is running the setup and it is installing the databricks cli see that's it now databricks cli installation is successfully completed so from now on inside this databricks cli what and all the commands are there using that commands i can interact with the databricks workspace so what i will do to know whatever the commands available inside the databricks cli so what i will do databricks then space simply use this hyphen always use this hyphen hyphen help command to see available commands inside that package so when i hit enter here this will give me all the available utilities inside this databricks cli package if you see here we have so many commands we have this cluster policies command cluster command configuration fs command this will actually help you to interact with the databricks file system if you don't know what is databricks file system please watch my previous videos it is nothing but like a internal storage of the databricks system where you will have folders and files and everything right so there are so many things now you have installed the databricks cli but what you need to do this from this databricks cli you need to connect to your databricks workspace first for example this is my databricks workspace this adb mahir i have clicked this launch workspace button to open my databricks here so now i want to make sure this databricks cli using this databricks cli i should be able to communicate with this workspace and this workspace name is adb mahir so with this workspace i should be able to communicate it how to do that for that you need to make a configuration to connect with this workspace from the cli so how to do that if you see this uh, commands inside this uh, uh, databricks uh, cli using this databricks help function or our command you can see there is a uh, utility called configure this will help you to configure the host that means this will help you to configure with your databricks workspace so let's try to use the help function or help command on top of this configure utility and see whatever the available ways there to connect with the databricks workspace so what i will do databricks then configure is a command or utility and i am using a help command on top of that utility to see the available functions are available commands inside this configure utility now if you see there is something called token using this token i can connect to my databricks workspace from this cli so what you need to do databricks configure then use this token command inside that so let me use this databricks databricks then hyphen uh, sorry configure utility configure utility then there is something called token using this token command i can connect to my databricks workspace so let me hit this enter button so what it will tell you it will firstly ask you to give me the databricks host so if i go to browser go to the browser and take this url from here to till azure databricks.net so this is the workspace or host url so you need to take that and then paste that here then press enter then it will ask you to give the token to connect to your workspace from the cli so how to get a token so for that you need to go to settings go to user settings and here you need to generate a token so let me hit this generate token give some name or some comment to it so cli should be using cli i want to connect so i am generating this token for the cli purpose so i am commenting that cli and here i am using this only for demo purpose so i will be using a lifetime of only one day that means only for one day that token will work after that it will not work so let me hit this generate button so this is going to generate the token so this is the token it generated so you need to copy this token and meanwhile let me keep this token somewhere in my rough notes and let me hit done so now we created a token as well so let's go to databricks cli here we need to paste the token so let me hit this control v so it might have pasted my token you cannot see it here hit enter so now now it might have connected with my host properly but uh, we need to make sure whatever the token we entered here it, it is correct and we need to make sure this uh, workspace url is correct so how to do that uh, go to your local uh, file uh, inter, uh, file explorer and here you need to navigate to this path under c colon under users go to your particular username so in my case my username is here this one so here inside this if you go you will see a file called databricks cfg databricks configuration file double click and open that file and you need to make sure the host url of your workspace and the token was properly pasted here if you see the token was not properly pasted so let me take this token i have saved it in my rough notes right so let me copy this token from here and then let me paste this token for the token option here now let me save this database configuration file locally so this is the configuration file that will help you to have the connectivity from your databricks cli to databricks workspace actually so that's the reason we need to make sure inside this databricks configuration file all the values are correct here and this file will be available under this path so c, c users then your, your username 
so now let's go to my databricks CLI so it might have it might have connected properly now so now now what I will be doing so for your to make sure my databricks workspace is properly connected with a CLI what I will do if I go to this databricks there is something called data menu so this data menu using this data menu I can we can access to the databricks file system right we know that so let me go to databricks file system if you see here inside the databricks file system we have so many things so there is something called file store and uh, mount folder and inside the file store folder there is something called temp1 folder if i go to temp1 folder inside the temp1 folder there are two files so we can see right so now let's try to see the same thing from the databricks cli so that we can make sure our databricks cli is connected with our workspace so what we can do here so let me go to databricks cli and now let me use this databricks help fun help command here to see the available commands as i said there is a fs utility that will interact with the databricks file system right so let's see inside this fs utility what and all the commands are there so let me type databricks space fs space then help command let me hit enter so now here if you see when i use this databricks fs help command so all these are the available commands available there and if you see there is something called ls command that is going to list the files in the databricks file system so what i will be doing so i will be using databricks file system then here i will use this ls command and hit enter so now it should give me list of the folders or files available inside this databricks file system you see it is giving file store mount and databricks results folders there are three folders and if i go to workspace you can see uh, if i let me go to the root folder of the databricks file system see there is file store mount and also databricks results right this folder you cannot see manually but it will be available so let's try to see inside this file store temp1 folder whatever the content is there whether it is able to list down that or not so it should list down these two right so these are the two files available there so what i can do i can use the same command here databricks file system then here i should use the path so dbfs databricks file system then inside the file store slash then inside the file store inside the temp1 folder whatever the files available that is what i am trying to list down using this ls command so let me hit enter and let's see whether it will give the results properly or not see it is telling me there are two files one is abcd.txt another one is mnop.txt and if i buy, if i see practically in my workspace also those are the two files are available there so that means from the databricks cli i am able to successfully communicate with my workspace right so this is how databricks cli will actually help you to interact with your uh, databricks workspace itself using the commands this is very important to know how to install this Databricks CLI and how to work with the CLI at least on a high level so that in our next video when we create a secret scope we have to use some CLI commands to see whether our secret scope created properly or not and to list down the available scopes and to delete any available secret scope. So everything we can do it using CLI only there you cannot do everything from the uh, UI so there is some dependency with the CLI as well. So that is the reason in this video I covered all these things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got an idea what is Databricks CLI at a high level. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.